Hey everybody, Ignacio here, and welcome back to another um, video game discussion that I want to talk about, and today we're going to be talking about Last of Us Part 2. As of right now, I'm in my car, I'm actually at QT right now, and I'm sipping on a QT drink. I ended up getting me gas, and I also wanted a QT drink, And but once I get done with this video, I'm going to drive home, and I'm going to go play The Last of Us Part 2, because I am enjoying the hell out of that game right now. It's such a good-ass game. Um, I, you know... I, I'm I'm so suckered into the game, like I'm just enjoying myself. Just, I'm just thinking to myself, just like, damn, I'm gonna go home and play some goddamn Last of Us Part Two. But then when you get on the fucking internet, you got people complaining, bitching about the story and just small little details on the game that that makes the game like apparently terrible. Like the Metacritic score on user is seriously like a three point like two out of ten. No, 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 no. The game is not that bad. Are you, the fact that there are people out there who are spreading bullshit around. A part of me thinks is it's Xbox fanboys, but at the same time, though, even when the rumor came out about like the what actually happens in the game, people were complaining about that. Now, I'm not here to tell you. Uh, actually, wait. First of all, I got to say this. I'm only nine hours into the game. I don't know if I'm really close to the ending or not, or I'm probably just scratching the servers. Maybe I'm halfway through the game right now. But as to give you guys a perspective, I'm in the nine hour mark of the game, wherever that is. And I will admit, I haven't beaten the game yet. I haven't beaten the game, so maybe there's more shit that I haven't realized. But I'm gonna tell you guys, at the end of the fucking day, these are just video games. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, you better click out the video right now, because I'm about to spoil something right now. Yes. Joel dies in the game, and, and right from the fucking beginning, too, right at the fucking, basically, the beginning of the game, and at the end of the day, it's just fucking video games, sure, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna tell you right now, Joel was easily one of my favorite characters in last, it was easily the best character, and secondly, I think he is honestly the, one of, right there, the top, like, for me personally, the top three greatest PlayStation exclusive characters, like, right, he was, he was just that good, I loved him. And I play the fuck out of the first Last of Us game. I have a Platinum to prove it. I have the original Platinum on PS3. So, I can definitely see. Um, just, like, when I play Last of Us Part 2, it's just a great-ass game. Like, it, it, it just took everything from the first game. Great graphics. A little bit better gameplay in the second game. Um, at least from what I played. It's literally the first game. Not to say that the first game had any issues with with, like gameplay but they did tweak a little bit of things for this part too to make it a little bit better to to play and the fact that there are people out there who are are complaining about the joel dying and that's like the worst part of the game don't get me wrong i'm gonna tell you right now i love joel and i, I and i it sucks to see him go in the game but at the end of the the day this is just entertainment this is this is just video games these people are not fucking real so why people are complaining about this bullshit? It's the same thing with um with The Walking Dead. Um, you know how The Walking Dead they would kill off the um, the season characters, like they would kill off like you know Rick and all these people. Um, like what the fuck do you expect in a show where people fucking die in a zombie apocalypse? That's what happens in a zombie apocalypse. Let's be honest, Last of Us Part Two is a zombie apocalypse, but with spores and shit. And you know. It was just a matter of time. Joel's fucking old in the game. He's fucking old, dude. Have you not seen all those gray hairs and shit? Wrinkles and shit? It's probably all the fucking stress he's been going through. And it's and to be honest with you, I think they did a smart thing um, with this. Um, personally, I think they did a good job. Because I remember when the trailers first came out, with um, when the trailers started rolling out for Last of Us Part Two, it was clear in the trailers that Ellie was going on to get revenge. But it was hinted at it was going to be Dina because, you know, Ellie's lesbian and, she, and they get together. Um, it hinted at in the story. That was smart on Naughty Dog's part to make you think that it was the, it, the story was going to be about Dina getting revenge. But no, it turns out to it was Joel the whole damn time. It's crazy. And I, and, it, and it, I, I can't be the one who got fooled from that. That was crazy as hell. And now Dina's with you in the entire game. And that's another thing people seem to be complaining about is lesbian shit in the game. Folks, who fucking cares? Who really gives a shit? 
two girls kissing, having sex, whatever. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's only one time in the game they do that. And it's not like you actually see the sex scenes at all. So unless there's another sex scene that's like more explicit that, that I'm just I haven't reached yet, I'm sorry that I haven't reached that part. But I don't care at the end of the day. Like I said, these are just video games. We play to be entertained. I just wanted to be entertained when I was playing Last of Us Part 2. So far, I'm being entertained. The atmosphere. Like, I honestly, like, I, I feel so immersed in this game. It's been a while since I felt immersed in a video game, if I have to be really honest here. Um, I, I play a lot of video games this past year, and I don't think I've ever felt this immersed since, like, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And I've been playing different games ever since, like, after that Resident Evil 3 game. But this game, I'm just fully blown away. The graphics, the face animation, the gameplay, the story is great. And they use them, and, and the, about the story about using Joel as a, that's a great story. Getting revenge on Joel. I want to kill that bitch, Abby, who killed that fucker. But at the same time, though, I could be wrong. Because like I said, I've never been in the game. But we don't know what Joel did to Abby. That's another thing, too, is, you know, Joel even said to himself, he had to do fuck up things to get what he wanted. I don't know, that's basically it. That's all I got to say about the video is just that if you haven't played Last of Us Part 2 and if you're still watching this fucking video, it's not a bad game. I just think people are... I just think people got nothing better to do with their lives. They have nothing better to do. Like, I'm over here fucking working my ass off at my job. Like, I do work for a living, right? And you got people sitting at home, they, they really got nothing... I feel like it's just the internet. Like, this fucking social media shit basically what ruined the fucking game and now when if there's going to be a last of us part three now the developers and whoever studio they're going to they're going to be more shy to do any of this shit folks you are ruining their confidence levels with this crap i don't mind like like any of the shit that they're doing like just make sure the game is not fucking broken and so far the game is not broken far from it dude I don't know. That's all I got to say. Um, what a way to make a comeback video. That's basically all I got to fucking say. Because like I said, until I play the ending for myself, watch, I watch, I beat the game, and I'm just like, oh my god, this game is actually fucking terrible more than I actually realize. But honestly, far from it. I think it's a good game. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time, bruh.